Yeah, hello and welcome back to our channel. Topic today is how to resize images fast and effectively. Uh, we all take a lot of pictures today with our cameras, our cell phones, and usually they end up in the data nirvana or we send it via WhatsApp to friends and family. If you download a picture from WhatsApp on your PC and you want to watch it on a big screen or on a TV, you will fast notice that WhatsApp reduced the size of the picture a lot and it's not nice to watch it on a big screen or TV anymore because the quality and also the size is not enough. The same for printing or development uh, of pictures. The size from WhatsApp is just not enough to print it, for example, with 300 dpi. On the other hand, if you take the pictures from today from the cell phones and cameras, they often have 5, 10, 50 or even 100 megabytes per picture. And if you try to send some pictures to your friend via email, you will fast notice that you can maximum uh, send maybe one, maybe two pictures, that's all. So my question is, what do you know how to reduce fast and effectively 10, hundreds or thousands of pictures at once in a batch modus with a program to send it to a friend or even save space on your PC? Yes, with a free program fast on photo resizer, one of my most favorite uh, software products. Um, you can download Fastown Photo Resizer uh, with a link uh, in the description below. It's a version 4.4 here on the homepage uh, from Fastown. And um, the installation is very easy and self-explained. And uh, it's only available in English, but um, that's no problem for the German uh, people you can understand it easily. Yes, without going deep into the theory means speaking about screen sizes, sizes of photos, compression factor and so on. We want to show you a way to resize images in a very quick way, many images in one step in a batch modus. So for this, uh, I prepared a folder with some pictures all together. They are 30 files and they have about 200 to 210 megabytes. Uh, I will make them a little bit larger. They have different uh, sizes, some vertical, so some horizontal with uh, different uh, measurements. So we start fast and photo resizer for the first time. I will get this window later again and the first step is to get the source. So we navigate to our uh, path, string, uh, control C, control V to get all the pictures here. And then we have to say which pictures we want. So we say at all, that's the easiest way. So then let's start with all the uh, options here. The first is uh, the format. We leave it to a JPEG. So in settings uh, we can uh, adjust the quality, the compression factor. I use 85. Um, the matter is the higher the value the better the quality but uh, also uh, the files become larger and larger and um, the the value of 85 is a good middle way between good quality and not so big uh, pictures. So we press OK. So the next one is the output folder. You can browse there, but you can also do it this way. You insert this and then I add small. Uh, second folder where I save all the reduced images to avoid overwriting the original ones. So. That's the next step. 
then here you leave everything as it is display error override ask and uh, keep original date and then you have to click uh, use advanced options we enter and for now we just use resize in percentage and for the moment we just use 30 percent every picture will be a third and in, in size uh, the filter or the interpolation leave it to this one that's a good one it's also the default value and then press ok and then all you have to do is to press convert so now as a warning because this uh, folder small doesn't exist just say yes i want to create it and then it takes a few seconds to re reduce all the 30 photos one of them has 45 uh, 43 megabytes it took a little bit longer but all together just four seconds we reduce the size from from 205 megabytes to 11.5 so we could send it via email all together uh, the ratio of reduce is uh, six percent and we saved 190 megabytes on our computer with this one so if you press this little tick uh, awesome future and you press done you jump directly into the small folder and i will open some of the pictures so this is uh, the size on my uh, quad hd uh, monitor 49 uh, inches that's the size and because they have original uh, different sizes the pictures also are very different that's all for the easy way the quick way in the next video we will speak a little bit more about the theory how you can uh, do it that all the pictures have the same size and that will help you a lot in future to reduce uh, or resize your pictures in the right way In the last video, we saw that we get with a quick and dirty way pictures with very different measurements, different, very different uh, ratios uh, from width to height, and uh, how we can uh, control this in, a, in the right way. Um, to understand this, we have to do a little bit theory at first. Uh, let's speak about uh, uh, the things above here. Uh, it's not a topic for American or British people. You think in inches, uh, we think in centimeters. That's why I put here the relationship is 2.54. Uh, uh, and th therefore, um, old screens had uh, 72 uh, pixel per inch resolution. That means this in centimeters. And the resolution print is uh, usually 300 pixels per inch. And that means in centimeters. And then uh, let's speak about um, screen resolutions today. Uh, in the past, we had something like a VGA with the sizes. Uh, they were in the relation four uh, to three about what photos about are. But today we speak about HD, full HD, uh, WQHD or 4K or even 8K. Uh, and these new sizes are usually uh, 16 to nine and uh, what that means on a screen in centimeters or if you print it with 300 dpi uh, is shown here and you see for a usual photo in germany let's say uh, nine centimeters times 30 centimeters usually full hd is more than enough to print it you don't need 4k or above so to make it more visible we printed it here, uh, started with the old resolution uh, weight, uh, we GH, and today we speak about the HD with this sizes, full HD, then uh, WQHD, that's what I have. I had a long uh, monitor with size, today we have uh, uh, 49 uh, inches, which means the size double of this, and then um, it goes to 4K and even 8K. Then let's speak about uh, photo dimensions. They are more than uh, 3 to 2. There are some 4 to 3 or even uh, 16 to 9, but most are in this relation. That means about uh, this 3 to 2, uh, 13 times 9, 15 times 10. 
And here are the sizes what you need with your print if you print with 300 dpi. Uh, I also did it here and uh, the relationship to the monitor size is about this one. So and that are common photo sizes at least in Germany. So and the last uh, table shows uh, some of the pictures from our cameras what we saw before. There are some with the, um, from our Canon, our two Canons. You see uh, the sizes. Mostly they have three to two or four to three. You can change it, but mostly you will uh, take your pictures in these sizes. And they have from four megabytes to eight megabytes. And crazy today here, my daughter has just a new uh, cell phone. You can uh, say two, 200 megapixel and then you get Six, uh, 16,000 times 12,000 and the pictures have between 40, 50, even 100 megabyte one single picture and what it means on a screen you, sh you see here you can print posters with this one so um, that's for the beginning but now let's jump into our pictures yes um, we have some pictures here let's say the, the first one from from a Canon, um, it has 3000 times 2000 with 72 dpi and about 2 megabytes. Another one uh, with vertical direction has 3400 times 4100, also 72 megabytes, but already 6 m uh, megabytes. And even one picture from my daughter here with 30, uh, 53 th uh, megabytes. And this uh, crazy 16,000 times 12,000 pixels. So, if we enter now into custom um, photo resizer again, I will just add one single picture for the moment to make some things clear. Um, this is a, a photo of a chessboard on our uh, carpet at home. Um, it has about 8 megabytes. So, and also this relation of three uh, to two. So, what we do now to do it in the right way? We The same uh, option as before. We also put it in a small folder. Then we go to advanced options. The first thing we, we have to do, I would suggest here use 300 D dpi in general. Uh, that also we have the right, uh, the right um, D dpi later for inserting in a word document and so on for the screen it doesn't matter but for printing or uh, doing it in a powerpoint or whatever use the 300 i recommend so then resize we don't use percentage we use for uh, resizing it for monitor or saving on our pc maybe we use pixel and then it uh, depends on what size you want to watch later. I said I have today a W quarter D uh, monitor before I had just full HD. We use it for the moment. Mostly it's enough to send other people for uh, reports or PowerPoints. That's usually usually enough. And then um, very important this one because you have vertical or horizontal pictures and if you don't tick this it will just cut off half of the picture. Very important, use the stick. Then preserve the so aspect ratio. And then you have two options, smart filling or smart cropping. And I will explain it in a moment. But for this, I prepared something. Um, I use this at first. So, and then I will go to this one and open the files we saw before. Let's say we have this uh, picture in the moment with a relation of three to two, but we want to reduce it to a size of this full HD and it has 16 to nine. And there are two possibilities. First, we preserve the same height. That means we scale the picture that they have the same size, but then you can see there is some missing space with no information and then you have to fill it with white, black, whatever color. And that's exactly what you do here in the advanced options. 
uh, wait, I will put it in the right way here. And you say smart filling and then you also can choose the color. I leave it for white at the moment. And then I say convert. Uh, create the folder, it's okay. And jump into. And you can see it. Here is a white border on the left and right side. Maybe here you can see it better. It filled it because there are some missing information and it has to fill it with something. That's not usually what I do. Usually I do the smart cropping because I say I don't want these borders. And usually it's not so important but at the top and the bottom of the picture. I If there is some uh, sky or ground, it, I can cut it off. So I use smart cropping. So And we do the same again. Overwrite our picture, jump into and that's exactly what happened from our chessboard the top and bottom uh, information is missing here it is a problem usually for me it's no problem so that's what we did now yeah we uh, did the same width and then in the height there is some there's too much and we have to cut it off this white space here yes um that's preparing everything for um, for screen. So if you want to send some pictures via email or WhatsApp or whatever, that's a good way to do it. What about printing, printing photos? There I would always use this one. Let's say we have the width of 13 centimeters times nine. The resolution is 300. Then we can have a perfect way to prepare everything for printing and make sure that nothing is cut off when we send it to the the company who would develop the pictures uh, not to become any um, surprises because we put some text on the bottom then it's cut off i usually do all of this way before i develop pictures so i press ok we use all now here and then say convert the last one has to override that will come uh, message yes and we go inside and then we have perfectly preferred uh, prepared everything for the development all the pictures three to two relation and for 13 times 9 with a 300 dpi resolution uh, everything prepared so what we did for you is um, you can't remember in in a few weeks or moments maybe you didn't uh, you don't remember anymore what we did here so what you can do, you can save your adjustments here in one small file, a CCF uh, file. And I will go and show you what we prepared for you. Um, we prepared for uh, reducing for a monitor, full HD, quad HD, 4K, but also for photo resizing. Here's several CCF files and we will put it together with the other information in our OneDrive in the description you can download and also the quick and dirty 30% uh, from the part one. So we think now you have everything for the future to correctly reduce the sizes of your pictures for sending via email or saving on, on your PC and save a lot of space. Yeah, guys, thank you for watching. That's all for today. Um, if you have other programs you use to reduce photos also in a batch modus, just tell us and leave a comment down below. And um, I think we will make a, a second video about Fast and Photo Resizer and then put it later here on the right side as a link because we just covered a little bit of the program, what it can do. Uh, for example, we also use it to rename photos, including giving numbers or converting TIFF files into PDFs. So we are looking forward to see you here again and have a nice day.